Hey guys, it's Rach. So today I am starting the countdown to Rosie. I am officially 39 weeks pregnant, so that makes for seven days until Rosie is apparently supposed to be here. Heading out the door to the doctors. Last time I went, I was 60% effaced and not dilated. That was a week ago and I've had a lot of contractions since then, so we'll see if I've made any progress. Here we are at the doctor's office, about to get checked. And I'm having contractions. Hello. How do you guys feel? Here we are at the doctor's office and she's having contractions. <laughs> I have had a ton of contractions lately. I just was having one just now. And you can see like my belly gets really hard. I feel like she's dropped very low. She said she could feel her head. She was like, that's great. That'll mean you don't have to push as much, but who knows? I'm getting really excited. I have this past Saturday, I was like in super bad pain. So we'll see. She is estimating that I will go a couple days past my actual due date. She said like around the 7th, which is funny because Billy and I guessed that Rosie would come on the 8th. As far as side effects go, I still have like really bad indigestion. I burp like all the time. I'm really tired. Not as tired as I was around like week 37. I'm just out of breath all the time and everything hurts. Um, my skin just feels so stretched like I feel like my ribs are bruised and my lower back has just got so much weight on it from holding her up not so much where I broke my back it's actually on my right side which I didn't break the right side so my right side is hurting more I don't know if it's just based on her positioning or what so far I've gained 25 pounds in the pregnancy I gained like two and a half pounds just this past week and I don't feel like I'm like personally putting on weight I feel like she's still just growing it's really great I did make them cookies because I thought today was gonna be my last like in-house appointment I'll probably definitely end up eating them yeah so she's doing good she's getting she's getting big I'm feeling very ready I'm a little nervous but I really feel like I have everything done we have all the bags packed maybe one of these days i'll do like a what's what we pack hello everyone welcome to walking through the baby bag with billy just like that <laughs> first of all most importantly rosie's first crown thanks ashley Let me just video for a second and I'll prove it to you. Okay. Okay, so we laid everything out for the diaper bag and we're realizing how excessive it is. We have like eight to 10 outfits. So we're gonna narrow it down in this video and reload the bag for the hospital. But let's get started. First, we just have some butt wipes. Seventh generation free and clear. If you register on Amazon, they send you a huge pack of samples and an outfit and bottles and diaper samples and swaddles. Billy, that's for like if they have a dirty diaper, you need to put it in there and put it back in the bag because you can't throw it away because you're like in nature or something. So these are tiny little pants. I love this swan onesie. So we've narrowed down two outfits to decide between for bringing her home. Look at the crown, it's so cute. This blanket is really super fuzzy and just comfy. And then this swaddle and headband set matches my robe. So we're gonna take a picture wearing that. I gotta say, out of all the bows, and I mean like, not just those. Oh, we didn't even ask for bows. But out of all the bows, this is my favorite. That's funny. The flower <laughs> one's my favorite. It's a rosy. I mean, look at, they're as big as my hand. <laughs> the letter board with all of the cute gold letters that we can write on her announcement. And then we also got the hello, my name is. She's 
show them the breast cover. Breastfeeding cover. That's what's in the striped bag. That's also a car seat cover, so no one can see our exclusive baby. We didn't pack any diapers because they give you tons at the hospital, they've told us. So I think we're all set. Rosie's bag has been in the car ready to go for like over a month now. Her car seat is installed and everything is ready for her at least. As long as she's got her stuff, I don't care. Hopefully we make it to seven days, exactly. I would love to make it to next Wednesday, but like my doctor said, it could be, you know, Friday or Saturday. So Rachel's water broke. No, I just think it might be a little. So we are on our way to the hospital. Well, we're at, we're at the hospital now. Oh gosh, I'm not even in that much pain. We'll see. We what might happens. be going home. What did you just say? I asked if I have a good hobo. <laughs> Today was the first pretty day in such a long time. What happened to the other room? Oh my gosh, I was washing my hands in the bathroom after I changed in the other room and brown <laughs> liquid came up from the floor. Poopy water. Just soaked my socks. So I'm in hospital socks now. Oh, don't get too close down there. And I just got everything checked. She thinks that she can still feel the water bag. Two centimeters dilated now. How are you feeling? Like I have heartburn. So what just happened? My water broke. <laughs> so we're here until Rosie's here. Crazy. <laughs> Mom just walked in Rosemary's with the, coming. she just walked in yeah. with the birthing ball. I was like, oh, you didn't have to bring that in. <laughs> yeah, yes, she did. The nurse comes in and she's like, yes, she did. <sighs> All right, here's so the now, couple. Now Aww. we're gonna walk around and get her moving even more because my water is still intact. So hopefully we can get that going and we're gonna strip membranes if that doesn't work and strip membranes yeah billy's gonna be a daddy okay i have to pee going for a walk chubs here needed some food so she's talking about me i'm the chubs what did you order <laughs> to fuel my labor he got the milkshake for me yeah Guys, Look at these bananas. These bananas are bananas. just finally got moved to the window room, which we are very happy about. It's so nice. You can open the windows and it's literally just the forest and you can hear the ocean and it's just so much better than the other room we were in. So Rachel's really happy about that. And uh, now I am getting all this stuff out of the car. How you doing, baby? Good. Can you see? Yeah. This is our official room. Finally. Yeah. I just got checked again. Still at two centimeters. 60% effaced. She did like a more rigorous check and now I'm having a lot of contractions again. Probably at like four... 0.5 pain level. 
Not like a four. I don't know. It could get worse. I can't sleep through this though. Oh, I can't sleep through this. Don't just keep on my face. So it's almost noon on Saturday. You look We've been beautiful. Here. here. I look like a garden gnome. <laughs> I labored through the night, didn't sleep at all. She came in and checked me, and then I started having really, really intense, like bawling, crying, couldn't breathe through it, contractions. I got my epidural, so now I am just laboring in bed she just came in about an hour ago and broke my water fully and then i was on my right side and we had a little scare with rosie billy ate breakfast he ate my breakfast i got the banana which i was so thankful for he's working on his dad bod so she thinks that i'll have rosie tonight so i will have labored for 24 to 30 hours how you feeling really sleepy. Okay, nap time. <laughs> so we just got checked again to like hopefully be a little more dilated than four and more. <laughs> so pushing soon. <laughs> Hey Rosie.
I want to pick up the girls for the very first time. Somebody likes the car. She makes the funniest faces. Ooh, here we go. This is where it gets real. tangent oh I'm really easily distracted I almost got in a wreck on the way to the doctors today probably shouldn't be driving anymore um, I should just end this okay thank you that's it for me